Let's talk about this guy. Hey. hey guys, it's Carlos with Media IQ, and in this video, we're going to be talking about this Alcatron PF8. And it's basically a big piece of sound foam that goes around your microphone. I have a condenser microphone inside of it now, and what I want to do is I want to see if this makes an actual difference. The sound that you're hearing me on right now is my normal indoor boom microphone, which is made by DPA. So this is gonna be a very different sound because there are two very different microphones. But what we'll do is we'll see just how well this Alcatron PF8 actually works or doesn't work. So the first thing, let's take a listen. So let's switch the sound over to the Neumann TLM-107, which is inside of this Alcatron PF-8, so that we can hear what the bass or the noise floor actually is. So let's take a listen. So my meters are not registering any sound. I'm gonna go ahead and put on these studio monitors so that I can hear myself in case I'm, you know, popping peace or something. Yeah, it's dead quiet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around so that I can actually speak into it. And now you guys are listening to me on the Neumann TLM-107 with the Alcatron PF8 around the microphone. And what I'll do is I'll just talk briefly about why it is that I bought this so that you guys can get a sense as to the quality of this device. I know that there are some other manufacturers, I believe it's called the Eyeball, that sells for a much higher price than this Alcatron PF8. And I didn't go for that because it would be silly to spend $150 or more on something that may or may not work for the purposes that I'm intending. Now, this microphone for us normally sits inside of our whisper room. Where I'm at right now is where I record the majority of my YouTube videos. So I brought it out here so that I can be in more of like a studio space that is not fully treated for sound, right? I do have some sound um, sound panels on the walls, you know, way back there. But for the most part, this room is not treated for sound. So let's take again a quick listen to what the noise floor is when I have the Alcatron PF8 on the microphone. So let's listen. I hear nothing in my studio monitors. So that's really good. That means that whatever the noise floor is, it's going to be below negative 50 dB, which is nice. Is it good enough for voiceover work outside of a vocal booth? You know, I'm going to say it depends on the application that you guys are planning on delivering to. But for my purposes, this could actually work because most of what it is that I'm delivering to are either tutorials or some sort of voiceover that shows how apps work or different, um, you know, functions within an app works for the clients that I deal with. If I was professionally doing voiceover work for something like an audiobook, then those types of projects would absolutely have to be recorded inside of my whisper room. So now that we've had a chance to listen to what this Alcatron PF8 makes this microphone sound like, let's see what the actual Neumann microphone sounds like without the Alcatron PF8. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my regular boom mic so that I don't, you know, completely distort you guys when I'm taking this guy off. So 
I know that I'm not following like the absolute way that they're saying that you should put the microphone in because what happens is they want us to put the microphone in through here and then drop it down and then put the windscreen in. I got to say, this just feels like super heavy duty foam to me. But that's what that sounded like. So now that the microphone is without the Alcatron PF8, let's take a, a listen to it. And I'm going to do my best not to pop my piece because my microphone technique when I don't have a pop filter is not awesome. So let's switch over. Yeah, let's switch over to the Neumann TLM 107. So now I'm speaking into the Neumann TLM 107 without any wind protection. I just popped the P. So I'll try that again. So now I'm speaking into the Neumann TLM 107 without any wind protection. And I'm going to do my best to not pop any peas. But before we before we move on, let's take a listen to what the noise floor is with this microphone without any wind protection or any sound foam around it. For those of you who are interested, I am actually running this microphone directly into my Mix Pre 3, which has some excellent microphone preamps with virtually no hiss at all. So the, the preamps are whisper quiet or more than that. And they really bring out the best out of just about any microphone. Now, my boom mic that I normally use when I'm doing YouTube videos is going directly into my camera. So that one is not going through the Mix Pre 3, but I wanted to use the Mix Pre 3 to make sure that I had the absolute best possible scenario for a noise floor when I did this test so that you guys can determine and maybe let me know if you can actually hear a difference, an improved difference, minus my microphone technique challenges, when I'm actually using the Alcatron PF8, because $50 is $50. Now, before we end this, so yeah, I'd be very interested to hear what it is that you guys think about how this Neumann TLM-107 sounds, both without any protection, as well as when I'm actually using the Alcatron PF8. Now, just for the sake of being thorough, I went ahead and purchased the wind protection or the pop filter that Neumann recommends for this microphone, because I realize that my microphone technique is still evolving and I happen to pop my plosives fairly often, particularly if I am not paying attention. So let's put this on. I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to my boom mic. So let's try on this wind protection for the Neumann TLM-107. So this is made by Neumann. And this, by the way, <laughs> this little piece of foam is not as dense as this Alcatron piece of foam. And it is definitely not as thick. It's very, very different. But this little piece cost $67. You know, give or take a dollar or two, plus shipping, okay? So let's put this on the microphone and go through that quick little test once again. Okay, so now I'm going to switch back over to the Neumann TLM-107. And now I'm on the Neumann TLM-107. I went ahead and I put the windscreen. That is made by Neumann. 
and Norman recommends that you use when you're using this particular microphone. Just so that we're all on the same page, I didn't engage any of the switches on the microphone. So this is the full spectrum of what the microphone is able to pick up. And like I said, now I'm using the Neumann windscreen. So let's get a sense on what the actual noise floor is when the Neumann windscreen is put on this microphone. Let's take a listen. So I just swallowed, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that or not. I heard it in my monitors. But that's what this now sounds like. So this is the Neumann windscreen on the Neumann TLM-107. And what I'll do now, just for the sake of the video, right? Because what I'm trying to determine is, will this sound give me better sound with a lower noise floor than the Alcatron because this is so thick that it makes me feel more confident that it will reject more of my ambience if I choose to use a or this microphone specifically right on my workstation which is right behind me. So let's um, I'm going to switch back over to my boom mic so that I don't you know do that to your ears. So once again, this is the Neumann with no wind protection. And we're going to do the Alcatron PF8. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And again, the instructions say feed the microphone from here on down. I'm not following instructions. I'm not recommending that you don't follow instructions just for the sake of clarity. Okay, so let's, here we go. This is going to hurt my ears. <laughs> and just for the sake of the video, I can actually see the capsule. And what's super interesting, this is actually really good and happened by accident. So, I'm going to switch over to the Neumann so that you guys can hear what it is that, that I'm hearing in my monitors. So the fact that this is blocking out this much of my voice or muffling it tells me that there are some frequencies, particularly the high frequencies, that this is doing a really good job at stopping. Let me turn it around again. So now I am actually speaking behind it. And what I'm looking at in my meters is that almost all of my voice is being rejected. Okay, let me put my pop filter back in. All right, so we're now back talking on the Neumann TLM-107 inside of the Alcatron enclosure, or the big foam bubble thing. And I really can hear a quality difference in my monitors when I'm actually using this. I hear less of the room when compared to the Neumann windscreen, and quite a bit less of the room when I'm using the microphone by itself. So, do I think it's worth the $50? Yes, I do. Um, I, I really do like this. So, I hope that this video was somewhat helpful for you, particularly if you are considering purchasing the Algatron PF8, or if you were considering pulling the trigger on that, um, I forget what it's called, something eyeball. Kenotic eyeball, something eyeball. I don't remember. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please do let me know. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, let me tell you what the channel is all about. Basically, this is a channel where content creators, so people that are either 
producing video or producing content for their websites, their companies, or their own clients, sort of gather around. We talk about tech, we talk about techniques, we talk about gear, and we try to learn from each other so that we can spend the least amount of money and get the biggest bang out of our productions. So if that's of interest to you, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. And like I said, hopefully you guys found this a little entertaining and maybe useful. And until next time, I'm Carlos Quintero with Media IQ, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thank you for watching. Take care.